someone who asked for too much now want you to come back. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. Your debt is forgiven. That's their way of saying, yeah, I'll forgive if you'll forgive. Dead end. You hit a dead end with this person. That doesn't necessarily mean forever. It just means a turnaround spot. But something made you change your mind about this person. They asked for too much. What do you need to know about it? Another level. And not ready to give up. They thought you could take them to the next level. Getting a real, like, vibe of somebody who wants to ride your coattails. <laughs> uh, that's why they're not ready to give up. That's probably why... Wow, okay. Past, present, and future. That's why you're still hearing from them. Or maybe not hearing from them so often, but, you know, once in a while. Or you see that they're stalking you online. Because they're not really making it shy. And they're not shy about it, I should say. Um, sweetheart. Love bomber. <laughs> yeah, come back. Come back. And... Perhaps you just wanted to get out of there. They want an explanation. Oh, did you ghost them? <laughs> oh, one of those situations. Huh? Sometimes a person just won't listen to reason. And they're extremely emotional and you can't do anything but just leave. Is it over forever? That's what they want to know. Uh, for some of you, wow, you're asking for guidance about this. You want to know if you should just give up on this person and stop trying because you've made excuses for them in the past and you don't want it to be over i choose you at one time you both chose each other they're still choosing you but you have mm, something happened something happened that made you yeah fear held me back this held you back from doing this before that's the thing is this is uh a situation that's been going on for a while that the dead end I, it's one of those things where maybe I'm getting the feeling of somebody just like getting slammed against a wall like eventually that you reach a dead end and you just can't you can't keep making excuses <laughs> you deserve better than you're asking for you deserve better than this situation and as far as it being over forever that's up to you you know um, things can change people can change they honestly can uh, but this is about you. Like, you need to focus on yourself. What other advice do you need? Um, it's up to you if you want to take them back. But for now, you already know the answer. You're wondering if you did the right thing. Mm. What else do you need to know? You are a lighthouse. You attract these types of people. You attract the love bombers, don't you? Mm -hmm. People who would do anything to have you back. Because when they're in their, when they're in your light... They feel warm, you know what I mean? They feel nice and toasty warm and protected. And they believed you were the one who could take them to another level. Sorry, these nails. They keep me from picking things up. Um, they want you to take them to another level. They thought you were their ticket to another level. They don't see it that way. I don't really get a real opportunistic vibe, but I know that that's part of why they're still pursuing you. Wow. These keep coming out. Your life has just begun. Dust off your feet and move on. That means embrace your new life. Keep going. You did the right thing. And in case you wonder what this is from, it's from the Bible. That's what Jesus told his disciples when, if people wouldn't listen to him. He said, dust off your feet and move on. Don't try to stand there and argue with them. And that's really what I'm getting here is that this person would do anything to just keep standing in your light. You are their lighthouse. Like... The arms are wide open, but you have got to put yourself first. Operate in love and you will prosper. See, you can operate in love with this person. You can be loving without giving to them. That's the thing. I think that's that's what it is. Okay, speak the truth in love. You were already equipped. This is what I was going to tell you. Operate in love, speak the truth in love. You can be nice and you're ready for this. You can be nice, you can be kind how to put it this person can't handle anything but that honestly this is that type of person it and really that's how most of us are i hate to say <laughs> it's better with kindness there's no reason to be anger angry and i you've been pushed to a point where there could be some anger but it's time to release that and focus on yourself and don't let this person trigger you to anger because it's to the point where and i know how it is sometimes somebody they come across sweet that's the vibe i'm getting is someone who love bombs comes across sweet but they also have angry sides. You know what I mean? People like that can get pushed. Like, um, this person do just doesn't understand. They operate in emotion. They're not thinking. Uh, they're, they're just thinking very emotionally. I know some of you know exactly what I mean. You look much younger than your age. You set healthy boundaries. And you feel success all around you. Yeah. This could be someone you've mentored. 
someone who you believe take, has taken age has taken some years off of you. Let's restore that. Let's manifest that the years are restored. Your youth is restored. Healthy boundaries, success all around you. This just confirms what I mean. Like, this is someone who took a lot. And uh, it's time for you to just move on to success. Like, the, they are holding you back. Anyway. Ooh, you already know your answer. You feel success all around you. It is spoken. It is written. And so it is. Amen.